In a world where darkness thrives, billions of creatures too small to see are searching, seeking, fighting. It's good versus evil. Who will survive with the lives of everyone on the planet in the balance? The Secret Life of Bacteria Inside Your Body. Coming soon to a theater near you. Okay, movie trailer guy, you're done. Thank you. No prob. All right. Yeah, they're always there for you and with you through good times and bad. No, I'm not talking about your friends, sorry, but about all the microscopic organisms in your body. Next time you're feeling a little lonely, just think of all the trillions of tiny creatures living inside you. You definitely won't feel alone for long. Now, let's take a little journey throughout your body and learn about some of the most important and coolest bacteria out there. Or should I say, in there. Well, this isn't your average video, folks. We're happy to offer you a unique opportunity to meet these microscopic life forms face to face in their full glory. So feel free to scroll around on your screen to see them from different angles and points of view. <laughs> cool, huh? Okay, let's dive into your nose which is home to the phyla, actinobacteria, and firmicutes. The latter are mostly Staphylococcus. Despite this scary-sounding name, they're all good for you as long as they don't get together with others of their kind. You see, when you come in contact with someone else's bacteria of this type through your nose or skin, you're likely to get an infection or pneumonia. And just to calm your nerves. A quarter of the U.S. population has a whole bunch of Staphylococcus aureus, and they're perfectly healthy. Those staphs look pretty good, don't they? Scroll around for a better view. You ready to move on? One, two, three, jump! And it looks like we're now in your mouth area. What a perfect place to study bacteria! They're pretty much all over the place. And guess what? There are way more bacteria in your mouth alone than there are people on the entire planet. Yep, you have billions of bacteria in the oral area, more than 700 species of them. You swallow around one-fifth of a gallon of saliva a day, and it brings 100 billion bacteria into your mouth. Even if you're diligent about brushing your teeth, Anywhere from 1,000 to 100,000 bacteria remain right where they are. Hey, what did you just do? Looks like you kissed someone and exchanged another 80 million bacteria with them. Some bacteria, like Streptococcus mutans, are pretty bad for you, since they cause tooth decay when they come into contact with sugary foods. Streptococcus salivarius K12, on the contrary, helps you out by fighting off the stinky bacteria and keeping your breath fresh. And check out these creatures down here. It must be some of those Haemophilus bacteria. They were discovered back in 1892 and originally thought to cause the flu. Well, that ended up being a false accusation because having them in your mouth, nose, and throat doesn't normally lead to any illness whatsoever. Now, let's continue the tour down your gastrointestinal tract. <laughs> The largest group of microorganisms here is bacteroids. They're in a love-hate relationship with us humans. When they remain in the gut where they actually belong, they help break down food to get the nutrients and energy your body needs. But if they wander out of the intestines, they can lead to terrible infections and start abscesses in your body. Also, when you get sick and take antibiotics, they breed like crazy and give you some serious discomfort. The good bacteria in your gut are the ones I'm sure you've heard of. Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium bifidum are added to healthy yogurts for a reason. Lactobacilli are responsible for the digestion of organic food and creating an acidic environment so that bad bacteria can't spread. These guys play a huge role in proper functioning of your immune system. Bifidobacteria also do a great job in protecting your gut from bad bacteria by covering the surface of the intestine to prevent harmful microbes from sticking to and multiplying on its walls. 
Another type of bacteria dwelling in your intestines that's worth mentioning is the mycoplasma. Scientists call them the crabgrass of cell cultures, because they're really hard to detect and get rid of. Mycobacteria are mostly harmful to humans, since they cause urinary tract infections. Alright, I've got a gut feeling that we've had enough of the gut. We've got lots more areas to explore, so let's get a move on. Going down, ground floor please. Actually, let's make a quick pit stop at the belly button. Trust me, you'll enjoy it. Now, believe it or not, your cute little belly button is home to over 1,400 different bacteria species. And get this. There was once a guy whose navel contained a strand of bacteria that lives in Japanese soil. The real kicker is that this dude had never even been to Japan. That just goes to show you how far bacteria can travel and be transmitted. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Okay, moving on. Welcome to the reproductive organs. A healthy man will have no bacteria in his upper genital tract. As for the ladies, their intimate organs, particularly the vagina, are rich in lactobacillus bacteria, which we already know are good for us. As for the mucus lining inside the uterus and fallopian tubes, it's home to Pseudomonas bacteria. What's interesting about this type is that it's also found in soil, water, and plants worldwide. They're perfectly harmless. As long as you're healthy, nothing scary will happen if you get them from somewhere or someone else. However, things can get pretty dangerous if you have a weak immune system and you get some Pseudomonas from contaminated food, a pool, or a bathroom. And let's hope you never ever get this next type of bacteria. The gonorrhea bacterium is, first of all, disgusting! But it's also the strongest organism on our planet. It's so powerful, in fact, that it could pull 22 full Boeing 747s. Now, that's pretty impressive for a creature that can only be seen through a microscope, don't you think? Okay, where to now? How about your largest organ? Any guesses as to what it is? Go ahead and write down in the comments what you think it might be. It comes in contact with millions of bacteria every single day. If you guess that it's your skin, <laughs> congrats, you are right -o. Next time you grab your cell phone and check out your social media handles, think about this. Your phone screen has more bacteria on it than a public restroom. Ew! That is, not unless you regularly disinfect like you should. Yep, everything you touch covers your skin in tons of bacteria. So, who can protect you from all that evil? The army of Staphylococcus epidermidis, of course. It works wonders when it comes to boosting your skin's defense system. Scientists have even found that, when applied topically, these bacteria can fight Staphylococcus aureus, which is the strand that causes eczema. Another big and friendly group living on your lovely skin is the Micrococcus family. These guys also serve as a protective shield from outside invaders. As you can see, they ain't winning any beauty contests soon, but they do their job well and deserve some respect. One final skin bacteria that's worth noting is Propionibacterium acnes. When in healthy skin, this bacterium is important because it carries genes for antimicrobial compounds that kill harmful bacteria. Of course, when its growth gets out of control, perhaps due to overactive sebaceous glands or clogged pores, it can cause acne, hence the name. And now, our tour is now over. I know, it flew by too fast. But like we said, there are trillions of bacteria in our bodies and just not enough time to cover them all, unfortunately. But at least now you have a better idea of who's sharing your body with you. Hopefully, this video has shown you that the scary-sounding word bacteria isn't always a negative thing. Good bacteria help us digest food and protect us by killing off the bad guys. And now that you've gotten to know them up close and personal, maybe give them a thanks for all their hard work, eh? Since we didn't have time to meet all the bacteria in the human body, share in the comments below what other types you know about. If you found this video interesting and fun, go ahead and give it a like. Be sure to subscribe and stay with us on the Bright Side of Life.